episode of All American Cooking. I am your host, Michael Allen. Today on All American Cooking, we're going south of the border. We're going to make some breakfast or brunch tacos, however you want to look at it. Cheese on eggs, but we're also going to be making our own homemade corn tortillas. You're going to see it's very, very simple. We're going to make this gorgeous little sauce that's going to go with it. It's going to taste epic. And we're going to be drinking the Mexican strong version of a mimosa, orange juice, a little sparkling wine, and how about a shot or two of tequila in there poured over ice. It's going to be perfect for today, so without any further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off making our own corn tortillas. Making homemade corn tortillas is not that difficult a procedure. You'll need maseca corn flour, a couple of cups of warm water, and some kosher salt. I've got two cups of the corn flour in a large mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of kosher salt. Next, we're slowly going to add the warm water. We're going to start off with about three quarters of a cup to a cup, just to get some liquid flowing and to start to create our dough. Now using your hands, because they're the best tool that we've got, begin to incorporate the water with the corn flour to form a nice sticky dough. It will be crumbly, it will be extremely sticky. Just work with what you can and eventually we will add some more water to create a nice smooth dough. Slowly add more water as needed, a quarter of a cup or so at a time. The package directions say one and a half cups of water per two cups of flour, but that can vary. I think I used one and three quarter cups in this particular batch. Just keep working the dough until it gets nice and smooth and has the consistency of very fresh Play-Doh. Continue to work the dough and fold it over itself until it's nice and soft and there's no more residue at the bottom of the bowl when you fold it over itself. When you get it to that point, roll the entire mass up into a nice smooth ball. I've measured out three ounces of masa dough and rolled it into a ball. I'm going to place it in between two sheets of wax paper and using a tortilla press we're simply going to press it flat to make the perfect tortilla. If you don't have a tortilla press, a cutting board or a heavy bottomed pan will work, but do yourself a favor and place the dough between two sheets of wax paper because otherwise it will stick. Rinse and repeat with the remaining dough. I had 18 ounces of dough to begin with, so I was able to get six three ounce balls of dough to create my tortillas. Now all that's left to do is to heat them up in a hot cast iron pan. I heated mine at full blast for about 10 minutes and then reduced the heat to medium for about 5 minutes before adding the tortilla. If your cast iron pan is well seasoned, you can just put the tortilla in, otherwise add a little bit of oil and spread it around before putting the tortilla in. We're going to cook these for about a minute to a minute and a half on each side and once they're done you can roll them up in a clean dish towel or in this case I have a tortilla warmer with a dish towel in there. Optionally as you're cooking these you can use a paper towel to push down a little bit to absorb some of the extra moisture. If your tortillas start to bubble up in the middle that means that you have mixed your masa well and your tortillas are going to be perfect. Should your dough balls or balls of masa dough start to dry out while your tortillas are cooking, just wet your fingers a little bit and that will help. Next we need to take the chorizo out of its casing and there's no pleasant way of doing this. Grow up. Bring your cast iron pan up to medium heat, add a little bit of oil, drop that chorizo in and listen to it sizzle. Now we're not trying to sear one side of the chorizo. We do want to break it up as quickly as possible. We don't have to be really, really 
strict on this, chorizo will become very naturally crumbly once it's cooked. But go ahead and take the back of a wooden spoon and just break it up a little bit as it cooks. Now let's go over the basics of chopping an onion. You want to go across from end to end, chopping the onion in half. We're only going to use about a half an onion for this, so the other half of onion can be set aside for another time, for another dish. Now we're going to go opposite the root end and just take off a little bit of the end, making it easier to peel the paper back and keep nice, clean lines. chop the onion, we're going to begin by making a horizontal cut down the middle. Place your hand on top for firm hold and using a very sharp knife, gently cut right through the middle, almost to the end. Now turning the onion, you're going to make vertical slices perpendicular to the horizontal cut that you just made, getting as close to the root as possible. Then turn the onion and it just chop away until you get to the root. Now that your chorizo is nice and crumbly, move it off to one side of the pan and add some onion. Get it in that oil. That's going to help out with a lot of flavor. Mix everything well to combine it thoroughly. Reduce your heat to medium and then we'll just let that sit and cook for about five to seven minutes so the onion gets nice and soft. I'm sure you've seen these before. These are your standard chicken eggs. We're gonna go with four eggs. I think that'll be enough for this 12 ounces of chorizo that I'm using. And then I like to season my eggs before I add them. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a pinch of kosher salt, a couple of grinds of some freshly ground black pepper, and I'm a huge fan of chipotle powder, so we're gonna add some chipotle to these eggs. And then we'll give them a nice beating with a fork, get everybody nice and homogenous before adding it to the chorizo. Before I'm adding the eggs, I'm going to let the onions soften a little bit more and enjoy a little bit of my cocktail. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my friends Stone Senate. They're a great band. I will leave a link in the description below if you like good southern rock and roll, go and check out Stone Senate. Now that our chorizo and onions are well incorporated, the onions are nice and soft, we're going to turn the heat down to low, and then we're going to add our eggs. I like to cook them low and slow, mixing everything up very well so that everything gets coated with nice creamy egg. Not pimping this brand, but everybody knows I love my heat and I love my chipotle, so I'm going to add some chipotle hot sauce. Optionally, you can add some chopped chipotle peppers, some of the adobo sauce from canned chipotles, a diced jalapeno, a diced serrano, whatever. Now let's make a sauce for this. We're going to start off with some sour cream. This is a fresh container, so we're going to give it a little mix. 
We're gonna go a couple of dollops of sour cream into a small bowl. Next up, I've got some hatch green chilies. I found these online. Uh, they're marinated in uh, water, a little bit of vinegar, some garlic and some lime juice and salt. They add a lot of flavor to the party and uh, I will try to find a link if you want to order them or just look them up online, hatch green chilies. You definitely want these in your arsenal. And then again, not pimping the brand, but Cholula makes this green pepper sauce with poblano and jalapeno. And yes, I call it jalapeno because it starts with a J. So go ahead and send the hate mail all you want. Uh, I'm going to add a good couple of globs of this stuff because I absolutely love this sauce. Once we get that in, we're going to add a little pinch of kosher salt and a few grinds of some freshly ground black pepper. And we will mix to combine. Now, even without tasting this sauce yet, I can already tell that I want more of that green pepper Cholula sauce. So I'm going to add some more of that. Uh, keep playing with it until you get the taste that you're looking for. And just make sure it's well combined. This sauce is amazing on these tacos. They're amazing on any tacos, burritos, sopes, whatever you got. Make this sauce. And finally, it's time to build. So we're going to start off with a couple of our nice warm tortillas. They're warm. They're very pliable. They feel perfect. Set those up on our plate. Next up, I'm going with some of that amazing hatch green chili sauce that I made. We're going to put a nice spoonful on each tortilla and just spoon it across the middle. Now for a little contrast and a little more heat, uh, some salsa, your favorite store-bought salsa will do. On future videos, I will show you how to make your own homemade killer salsa. Now it's time for the star of our show, our chorizo and eggs. Once I find my spoon, oh, there it is. Be generous with this. It's a decent sized tortilla. Get a couple of good spoonfuls of this delicious chorizo and eggs with onions, the chipotle pepper. Now I like to sprinkle a little bit of cotija cheese on top. You can alternately mix some cheese in with your chorizo and eggs. Monterey Jack, Cheddar Jack, Chihuahua Cheese, whatever you want. And then I like a little green. I've got some chopped up green onions and a little bit of chopped cilantro mixed together. And there you have it, your perfect chorizo and eggs tacos. So now it's time to take a taste of this thing. I like to put a little bit more of that uh, delicious hatch green chili sauce on top. Be generous with this stuff, it's just so delicious. And then as long as we're gonna add a little bit more, why not add a little bit more of that green, that cilantro and green onion. It just adds tremendous flavor to the whole thing. So it looks amazing. I am ready to take a bite. So we're gonna very carefully pick this up, kind of fold it over and that looks good to me. Cheers. Oh, you know what? I like the other side better. Never mind. Hold on. Let's flip that around, and now, cheers. And just as I imagined, it's everything that I wanted it to be. The homemade corn tortilla is absolutely epic. The chorizo and eggs, the sauce, the chipotle, all of these components work very well together. And if you're not making a mess when you're eating a taco, 
getting the sauce all over your mustache and your hands, then you are absolutely doing it wrong. So do it right. Don't eat boring food. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on future episodes. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.